Happy holidays, everyone. My name is Katie. You can further check me out at Living Life Organically on Facebook and also Tales of a Blogging Mommy at blogspot.com to check out some of the other topics that I have discussed in the past. I am here today to do a period product review for you all because today, which is Sunday, the day before Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday, and a few days after Thanksgiving, of course, and Black Friday, um, now's the time to be thankful and to be giving and to really think about how we can give back to those around us. And um, how, what does that have to do with the Voxapod Cup? Well, with every purchase that you make from Voxapod, you have an option of giving to somebody in need. And I just think that is such an incredible thing and to be able to do. If you're gonna go buy something, why not be able to bless somebody else in return? Well, also getting a fantastic deal. Voxapod, um, until tomorrow, will be offering 25% off of your purchase. So I am putting this video out specifically so you all can take advantage of that should you want to. A little bit about Voxapod. It is a Kickstarter cup. It was a cup made possible by the Kickstarter campaigns and many women like you who wanted to be able to actually have a period product they can depend on and one that checks all the boxes for us. Many other menstrual cups would not maintain suction or it would be too firm or not firm enough and we are just getting tired of not having something that would actually work for us and be dependable. I mean, we're active ladies, right? We have lives. Let's have something that we can count on to be there for us. And that is what we get with the Voxapod menstrual cup. Now, the owner of Voxapod is, her name is Amanda. You can find her videos on YouTube as well. And she talks about her cup and all about it. So for further information, feel free to go research it some more, watch those videos or contact Amanda directly. She is so kind. The customer service is unreal, unsurpassed in, in my case. And I just have to say, I highly recommend this company. Now, I like this company also, not only because Amanda is the product of homeschooling, which as many of you might know, I am a homeschool mommy. I have four children. I love to homeschool them and spend time with my children and teach them. And I love to be a part of their day. And they're, I love seeing how they're learning and grasping new concepts and, and learning together. It's such a beautiful, beautiful time that we have. So to be able to support a lady who had been homeschooled too, I just, I consider it an honor and something I'm very passionate and excited about. Now the Voxapod cups are hypoallergenic. I'm reading this from the little booklet here to be real. Um, they're BPA free and they do not contain latex, dioxin or animal products, nor have they been tested on animals. I don't know why anyone would want to test a menstrual product on animals. And I kind of snicker at that a little bit to be real with you, but hey, to each their own. I don't, I don't know, maybe somebody can fill me in on why that is a concern for people or how or why someone would use a menstrual cup on animals because I don't understand that, but that's okay. Um, so in their pamphlet, it says, you've got the highest quality standard menstrual cup available. And Voxapod cups are made with 100% certified medical grade silicone that's undergone rigorous biocompatibility testing to ensure safe internal use. We are proudly FDA registered and our facilities are certified and compliant. So that is, that is really great and reliable and I love, I love that. And that's one reason why I chose Voxapod. I wanted something that was made with 100% medical grade silicone in a FDA registered, everything compliant type of facility, um, made in the USA, etc. cetera. Um, and in doing my research, a lot of women were having problems having a cup stay in place or for it being comfortable, something that they could go out and about and do things that we all have to do in life and have this not leak or be uncomfortable, etc. None of us chooses to be on our period. I mean, I, not that I'm aware of anyway. Um, it's just 
biology, right? So let's make the most of it. Let's find something that works for us. It could be menstrual discs, like, like the Nixit, which they consider to be a cup, but it is a disc-like menstrual product. I'll pull it out for you. See, this is what it looks like. This is the Nixit, and this is the Voxapod. This is the size medium, and this is the size small in the Voxapod. And here's one of the mediums without the tail. The tail I have absolutely no problems with, by the way. It is, it is like not pokey and stabby up inside of you. It's just, it's just there to help guide you. You know where it is. The cups themselves are very comfortable. They're firm, but they're comfortable. They're like perfect. <laughs> They're like so ideal. This is the comparison between the small and the medium. Forgive me if there's any hair or anything on there. And this is the keeper cup. I originally had used a keeper cup, oh, probably like seven to 10 years ago, um, back when I was experimenting with sea sponges and reusable cloth, tampons, and other things. Um, you can find reviews on that on my Tales of a Blogging Mommy at blogspot.com to check out some different products that I have tried and reviewed for you all. So this is what the Keeper Cup and the size medium um, Voxapod look like. And they're pretty similar. I'd say the Voxapod is only slightly bigger around. And this is supposed to be like the firmest cup on the market, but let me tell you something. This was also supposed to last 10 years. I think that's my fault. Um, I had a thing of cleaning with hydrogen peroxide and even though cleaning with hydrogen peroxide will whiten your menstrual cup, I mean, look at this. This is white. This, I have used these. I apologize. They're clean. They're sterilized, etc. But you can see a little bit of a difference in color. I use this one more, the size medium. Um, I have not hydrogen peroxide them because in the pamphlet, Voxapod says not to do that. So I'm just, it got me thinking about this, which is supposed to be the firmest one on the market. This is so flimsy and weak now. Like it really, really is. If I was to, I mean, I mean, it's just like, I forgot I gotta do it like this, don't I? I mean, this is a sucker. Look at it. Like, like it just is garbage now. I think maybe the hydrogen peroxide started to uh, cause damage to the rubber. So I think that's one reason why Voxapod and maybe some other companies don't recommend you use hydrogen peroxide on these. It may shorten the lifespan of these cups. Just putting that out there. Um, yes, I really wanted to hydrogen peroxide these things before doing the video, but I don't have the money to keep purchasing products. So, sorry guys, you're just going to have to get over that. If other YouTubers can put up menstrual products with their blood for you all to see, I think I can uh, show you a, a cup that has just a little bit of discoloration on it. Not a big deal. Look, I'm not... I'm not trying to show these cups out to the public. You know, this is something I use. It's getting cleaned and sterilized. Like, who cares, you know? Um, now, how I end up using it is not like how many other people use it because back when I was using the Keeper Cup, I was getting, I was getting basically sick. I felt sick whenever I'd use it. And even though I'd boil in between my periods and and all that, I did do the rinsing and reinserting method. Well, in my research, I came across a video from the doctors on YouTube. You go ahead and look into that. Um, they were discussing whether or not it's true that you have a less likely chance of getting TSS from a menstrual cup. And they determined that it's not true you do have a you do have a decreased chance of getting TSS if you sterilize at after each use. So that goes out the window if you are rinsing it and then reinserting these cups. So 
I have purchased this Lotus brand um, Lotus Care sterilizer and every time I take out my cup or before I reinsert it um, I make sure that it's sterilized and clean I first will rinse it out wash it out with soap get out anything any crevices you want to make sure that these holes are clear and cleaned well um, because that's what helps with the suction, creating that. If you have one that's blocked, you're gonna have suction issues, possibly. Um, and also, you want to be able to wash it in cold water, otherwise you will increase the likelihood of stains. Now, I will also say that <laughs> sterilizing may also increase the likelihood of staining, but I don't care about the staining, I care about my health. So. Um, with pads and with period panties, unfortunately, because your blood is being exposed to oxygen or something, I don't know, um, it kind of creates more of a, an environment for um, smell. I'll, I'll just say smell, you know. But with tampons, I never had that in the past, right? Well, I don't have issues with these things either. They don't create smell. I mean, I would not even know that on my on my period with how comfortable it is I don't have leaking no indications except for when I need to change it out which isn't a big deal now for me I find that when I insert these I actually like the C fold um, I've tried the other folds but with one fold I kind of think that it gives me perhaps too much suction and with another fold, it doesn't give me enough. So the C fold just works perfectly for my body. And it may be different in your body, but that's what works for me. And it's reliable. I don't have to worry about it falling down on me. Now, if you do have a problem with it falling down on you, which I have had that problem before, um, your seal is not correct. So just go back into the bathroom and reinsert it, do whatever you need to do to get it to pop open and create that seal. That's really important. Otherwise, it'll drive you mad. Like, I was trying to experiment with this cup and test it out. Like, I think it was, like, either my first or second cycle. And I happened to be visiting family um, in the mountains of North Carolina. We went to Cherokee. We were walking around with all the shops to look at stuff and enjoy family time together. But my cup kept sliding down, and it was so annoying and uncomfortable it's because I didn't have the suction correctly now I was kind of rushing it in the bathrooms I'll be honest because they were packed I mean it's a tourist place you know um, so I didn't take the time to create the proper seal I was just like kind of rushing it because I'm like I have family waiting on me I had to keep going back and I'm just like screw this cup man and I just basically free bled in my Mahdi body period panties and I put a lot of trust at that time in that because that was the first time I had used those period panties too. They worked great by the way and even on my heaviest days my heavy overnight muddy body panties came to the rescue. And I'm very thankful for them too but I am even more thankful for this cup because I don't like using cloth pads right now. I had to do that for like years after I had my last child. And I'm just like, you know, I, I need to, I can't stand it. So I highly recommend the Voxapod menstrual cups. Definitely look into them. And again, their website is offering 25% off right now. So go ahead and check that out. Um, they offer with every purchase or at least an option to be able to gift a cup out to somebody else. Um, somebody in need, a, a woman in a third world country, for example. Um, I love the giving back ability that you have, this option you have when you make a purchase. And that, that's something near and dear to my heart. And if you are concerned about the environment, these are great too. Your health, um, exceptional exceptional. Um, I highly recommend the use of menstrual products when used properly and sanitized at the end of each use, okay, or whatever. So if you're going to go purchase a Voxapod, buy more than one. Buy like at least two. 
You can get a size small, a size medium, or two mediums, whatever you wanna do, so that you can rotate them out. While you have one in, you have one sterilizing, and then, you know, vice versa, you switch it out that way. It'll be always be ready for you. And the beauty of this guy is it'll keep you, it'll keep it nice and sanitized and warm and cozy for you to use when you need it. So you can literally store it in there until you need it, which is great. So I highly recommend that. I mean, again, this is like revolutionary for me because I got four children to run around with. And even though I've been dabbling, I can say dabbling because I really honestly have been dabbling with uh, menstrual products over the years. Um, I took a long time off from it. So, and I had thought I knew how to use them, but then I realized, you know, there's always something to learn. I thought I knew it all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I thought I knew how to use these appropriately and get that suction. And I thought I got it, but um, I just had to learn how to do it. And every cup is different. So don't be afraid to, to learn how to use it properly in, in, for your body. Now, a lot of women, most women, if not all women, are more swollen in the beginning of their cycle. So, and then you lose that that um, as you as your cycle continues. So that might impact like what size you might prefer to use. Um, it might impact um, comfort or you know which which method of insertion you want to use, etc. Figure out what works for your body. But I can proudly say that the Voxapod menstrual cup is my Goldilocks cup and I am so proud of it. I'm so excited that I have a reliable cup and I don't have to keep purchasing and purchasing and purchasing cups or products to find what works for me. I know what works for me. Voxapod with Mati Bodies as a, you know, just in case, oops, which I've never had an oops with this. So what can I say? But it's still nice to be able to have that. So I hope this has been helpful to you all and feel free to check out Voxapod on their website and take advantage of that 25% off coupon, okay? Because it ends tomorrow, Cyber Monday. Have a blessed day and happy holidays.